all, I would like to, to, to thank the organizer for, for this uh, very nice invitation. So I am very, uh, it's a great pleasure and honor to talk I today here. Um, so a few memory, uh, personal memory. So I arrived in Paris in uh, 1983 uh, as a student of ENSGF, a JF, so for girls. And uh, I have to get uh, in, uh, register in some university in Paris. So I went to Paris 7 and I, I registered as a st student of a license and a maîtrise at the same time. It was the, the rule of ENS. And uh, I, need, I needed to choose some uh, courses, so uh, as a license courses, among the list of, uh, of possible courses, there was one that I, I took, which, is, uh, which was uh, integration by Ro Roger, Roger Godemont, and, uh, <laughs> sorry, and a second uh, course in, uh, in the level of maîtrise, which has the funny name of uh, Analysis 3 and also by Godemont, and uh, this course was about uh, uh, differential geometry. And this was, both, both courses were really great, so I learned a lot from them. And uh, so in integration, it was about the Lebesgue measure and uh, theory of measure. And uh, in, the other, in the second course, uh, I still remember very well Godemont on, uh, on the blackboard explaining explaining to us how to define uh, cards. So in French it's cartes, cartes, uh, cartes. <laughs> and uh, this was very useful for his course and also for the course on uh, algebraic geometry I took the semester, the next semester with uh, Le Petit. So, uh, and uh, then uh, I did my, I passed my aggregation and the year after uh, I I tried to find an advisor to do my, uh, at that time it was called uh, DEA, Diplôme d'études approfondies, which corresponds now to master degree. Uh, and that at, uh, at, at uh, ENS GF, uh, so Sèvres in uh, Montrouge, there, was, uh, there were some uh, mathematicians who had offices there. And uh, among them, uh, there was, uh, she was scared, so, sorry. Uh, Marie-France Vigneras, <laughs> and, uh, and so sh uh, she agreed, and it, she, she, sorry, ah, ça marche pas. Merci. So she, she kindly uh, agreed to be my master uh, advisor, and she gave me a paper of uh, Roger Howe on uh, uh, theta correspondence, uh, how correspondence for finite groups. So it was my first, the first time I met the world of reductive group. And so I remember the, de the date, precise date when she gave me the, the, that paper. It was on the 14th of July, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 1984. So it was very strange to me that mathematicians are working on 14th of July. But I was still used to some strange thing already because Godemont was giving his integration course at lunchtime and the, the, the other courses, Analysis 3, was at dinner time, <laughs> at 20. <laughs> so <laughs> and so uh, Marie-France told me that uh, there, there was a, uh, a seminar in uh, Jussieu and that I will need to go at that seminar, but I will understand probably nothing. But uh, the music will be useful to, for, my e for my ears. And she was very strict about it. She said, il est impératif to go. And so on, uh, on next fall, I went to this seminar, and which the name, the title, the title of this conference is uh, taken from. And uh, I remember the third lecture, and it was really great, and the first lecture at the seminar was given by Corinne Blondel, and uh, I was very, very lucky because it was on the, the paper I have to study as my master degree. And all the, and, and uh, the, in, in, the, in these days, the seminar was 
something like a usual, a usual kind of seminar. I mean, invited people, visitors or, or, or French people to explain our work, but also uh, work, uh, doing like a running seminar, so studying some difficult subject which changed each year. And that year it was on the uh, data correspondence over periodic fields. And the seminar was also, so it was a, a, a good time to learn uh, um, in a more deeply way the, uh, one subject. And also it many times it provide books from uh, after the seminar by some of the, of the speaker. So, and for instance, and sometimes we're just reading books. And I remember one summer in the beginning uh, when I was reading the Godmont Jacquet about, and uh, I, I take it, uh, I took it with me from my holidays and I was on the beach with Godmont Jacquet and because I had to prepare a talk for the seminar on one chapter of it. And so just uh, a few readings for you. Um, so this book, which is uh, well known now, it's, uh, it's a reference about data correspondence uh, from the, which was written after the, the seminar. Another book uh, by Meuglin and Vaspuré, which was quoted by Jim, Jim Arthur yesterday. Um, and a small story about that book. So you, as you see, there is an English version. And uh, I met the person who was uh, doing the, tradu uh, the traduction in English and uh, Leila Schneps and at that time and she told me the, the following story. So she started first by doing it by automatic way. So she take the book and just uh, use some uh, automatic way to translate. And then a new English word show up. And, and uh, do you, I guess you have no idea what is this name, this word. So many adverbs in French like uh, probablement are translated in English as like probably. And the new word, <laughs> which appear, was godly. <laughs> so, this is just a story. So, it is, but it's good. It's a book which is a paraphrase of a scripture. So, godly is, is, is good to appear in it. And then, uh, some other book from uh, the time of a seminar, uh, especially this one by uh, which, uh, which is a project by Ma from uh, started by Michael and uh, which has uh, and many of the French uh, people not only French sp French uh, writer but there are many French uh, uh, many articles written by French people okay just one thing before I, I really go to my talk June 1987 is, do you remember what, so very in, th in that year there was a special event in Paris. Uh, I wonder if someone remember what it is? Ah, yeah. oh, yes, Tim. Lumini, you are right. Uh, Lumini was uh, part of a special period, period special, which gave also uh, very good books in, uh, in Asterisk. But thi and uh, this year is very important for me because uh, at, at that time, for during the special period, I met for the first time many of you uh, of you. But in June it was in Paris <laughs> and it was not really included in the period special but it was an event which was closely related but different and uh, it, at that event I remember a very nice talk by Hervé Jacquet about, was about a, a one theorem of Valspurger uh, and some of that talks uh, and so I give you the title of this event because nobody remember unfortunately. But for me it was good because it was the first time I was attended to a conference. So, so it's why I probably why I remember my colleague in honor of Roger Godemont. Ah yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to me, too, too, too long time ago. Okay. So now I'm going to my the real things on my work. So I will talk about joint work with Ahmed Moussaoui and Martin Sawi and Martin 
சொல்லுதல் and uh, so it's about uh, uh, an Hans Langlands parameter so I will have I will take a group G G will be the F points of uh, reductive uh, connected algebraic group defined over F as usual F is a local non archimedian field Um, and the uh, Langlands parameter or L parameter are certain as a certain morphism uh, from. So I will take this uh, as a, this this group as the an, um, a version of the Weidelin group in the L group. And for the, the version of the L group, I will take this one, uh, where G, uh, my notation is uh, the following. So GF is a oh. reductive group over C with root datum, dual, dual, dual root datum, dual to that of G. So is as is as is the situation is well known for all of you. Just just a small example. If G is GLN F, this one is same group. If G is, for instance, if it is SLN, this one will be uh, PGL, and here it is SP. And of course, if the, the PRD group is SP2N, you will get SO2N one plus 1, and, and if it is SO2N, uh, you will get SO2N over C. Okay. And this uh, parameter uh, are supposed to have, uh, are assumed to have uh, some uh, good property, that the, the usual one that you can find in, in Corvallis, uh, in uh, the paper by Bohan in Corvallis, for instance. Um, so, what I want to say. Um, so this is a parameter, and I am especially interested of um, a notion I, I would like uh, to define a notion first, a notion of cospedality. So as, as usual, this is uh, um, I will I will talk on object like this as. Uh, object living on the dual side and the, the automorphic side, which here is just the representation side, just the side of representation of G, smooth representation of G. Um, so L parameter. Um, so, and of course, the idea is that this cuspidality on the on this object on the dual side should uh, correspond to the usual notion of cuspidality of s or supercuspidality at the level of of representation. And uh, of course, we you know the it it's a, occurs, for instance, in, in uh, I mean in in the talk of Bertrand Le Maire, for instance, you have uh, the it was mentioned the Bernstein center. Uh, of a Bensi decomposition, which is a decomposition of a representation of smooth representation of G due to Bernstein as a uh, product of a certain uh, certain uh, full subcategory, and this subcategory are indexed. So Bernstein decomposition. So is this is the category of smooth representation? You can view it as a product on some element of um, some category that I will call R as G of G. And uh, this element S are uh, given by uh, L will be a levy of G, a levy of a parabol of a uh, rational levy of a rational parabolic 
and sigma is a super irreducible, super cuspidal, super cuspidal representation of L. And this relation is uh, uh, slightly weaker than the, the, J the, G the G conjugation. We allow to twist by an anamified character of a Levy. So if you believe in uh, uh, local long length correspondence, which is known to be true in, um, in many cases, like uh, uh, for uh, G uh, equal to GL and F, uh, due to the work of uh, 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 Harris and Taylor, and also uh, never proved by uh, Enyar and third proof by uh, Scholz. Uh, it's also known for, classi for classical groups, thanks to the book by, by James Arthur. Uh, and if, if we add the stabilization, which was uh, conditional to the stabilization of a uh, local trace formula, which is now done in this uh, book. So I said per, and just a few lectures, but if you count the number of, number of pages, you will see what, what, why there are some, it's written like this. So, uh, so if you believe in uh, local long loss correspondence, uh, the, the irreducible representation, I will call this, uh, f first this will give you a partition of as the level of irreducible representation of the set of the, dual, the, sm the smooth dual of G as uh, will be it will be partitioned the smooth dual of G in some subset and uh, I will call this uh, Bernstein series. So this has nothing to do with uh, local long loss correspondence but now but now if you believe in local long loss correspondence this set should be in bijection in a nice way with a certain object attached to the to uh, on the dual side. And so uh, it means that you should also have a decomposition in similar in the in the in the dual on, on, on the dual side. And so the idea was to try to, to, to define such uh, uh, decomposition, such a partition directly on the dual side without assuming local long loss correspondence. And, uh, but here, this is just not possible for the reason that to uh, an L parameter, local long loss correspondence should attach an L packet of irreducible representation of G and in a given L packet, uh, it happens many often that you have simultaneously uh, irreducible supercuspidal representation and non supercuspidal representation. Of course, all these non supercuspidal representation need to be discrete, discrete series, because the parameter to, 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 to have um, supercuspidal in its uh, packet uh, need to be um, discrete. Uh, and that kind of situation already arrived in SP4 or G2 example. So you have L packet of, le of, le of irreducible representation. So it's when G is this group, which contain um, supercuspidal and non supercuspidal. And for instance, we can have a representation uh, packet which contain, um, I will say, representation with unipotent reduction. Uh, contain that are well, with some are cusp super cuspidal and some are in the principal series. And um, so principal, principal series will mean that in the Bernstein decomposition, they will occur in the Bernstein series attached to a tolus, so the Levy L will be a tolus, and super the supercuspidal 
occurs in a Bertin series attached to a Levy L, which is equal to G. So when you look at this and this, you, it seems that this is just a stupid thing to do because the, um, this decomposition is not compatible with uh, uh, local long -ons. In fact, you will see at the end of the talk that it is, I mean, some coarse uh, decomposition is in fact compatible. So, uh, so you cannot define cospedality for an L parameter. So we will transfer the notion of an AMS, so in French, enrichi. L parameter or, or some some people say that you will the L parameter is the name of the is the name of the of the, of the object and uh, the the uh, the enhancement will be its uh, uh, so, uh, its um, sorry <laughs> the L parameter is the last name and uh, the enhancement will be the surname. So in any case, it would be pairs like this, where phi, phi is a L parameter, foot is an L parameter, and rho is an irreducible representation of some group that I will call S phi. So, um, and here is the definition, so, uh, so S5. So we, we, we use the, uh, the we follow a construction which was which is due to Jim Arthur. And but this construction is uh, compatible also with uh, the the one given by uh, Tasho Kareta. And uh, so this, as you can imagine, this group is the component group of some of some group and the group are, are, are have this fancy notation which we explain now here um, so uh, I will denote by so we are on the dual side so we have the long the long long group the long long dual of uh, of G and this is its adjoint group so the quotient of a group by its center. And uh, this notation is for the simply connected, simply connected cover, connected cover of this one. Um, and, uh, um, sorry, and we have a long uh, a parameter. And uh, this group, so this, first, first, this one here, yeah. this is the, by definition, it's the centralizer in G add of the image of, of phi, and the image of phi, I just mean this. And here, this one with one is just the inverse image of this of this group in yeah. So this is so this is taken from a paper by of, of uh, Arthur on uh, a note on on uh, on the L on the L group. And uh, so we t we take this group and uh, of course this group has, in general is for, for GLN it is connected but in general and no, even no. Uh, sorry. In general, this group is, no, is not connected, as I define it. And um, uh, I take, I, I call S phi its group of component. And so the parameter is enhanced by an irreducible representation of that group. And this kind of situation occurs in a special case, uh, uh, for instance, for the presentation which no, it's this group. Which have which admit Iwori fixed vector, which are a special case of the representation with unipotent reduction, uh, and this occurs in many years ago in an old and paper by Lustig on square integrable representations. Uh, okay, 
So this could be <coughs> the end of the story. But in fact, the point is for us, the key point, is that this group has another interpretation. So I have considered the group. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I need what is the things to. Hello? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 in the between the two. Between the two, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Well. Okay, this group, uh, I define, this group, I define it as a centralizer in, in, in this group of the, the, the anti image of phi. And then I and I can also consider not this, this group, but just the they group. And it's what I will do now. So I will introduce. As far as finite, yeah. As far as finite, yes. And I will introduce this group, same notation, the central SG. C, sorry. Of phi of wf. So I just ask that, f that uh, I just uh, 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 this group uh, only uh, request that, uh, that the element of a group centralize the image of wf. And so, and this group, and also uh, I have this group, and I will also introduce some unipotent element, which is the one you, you, you can imagine. So the image by phi, but because this, if I do that, I will only consider the restriction of phi to wf, so I need to do something with uh, SL2C part. So I will just consider the image of this element. And this is a unipotent element. And it can be viewed as a unipotent element of, of G phi. And, um, and so we have a group. And this one is, uh, is not finite in general. And in general, it is disconnected, not necessarily connected. And uh, OK, I have this. And sorry, what I call it, Shi Phi? Uh, no, sorry, it doesn't, it's not. A unipotent element, uh, it's a unipotent <coughs> element of, of, uh, of a dual group of L of G. And I will uh, consider the group, the, the group I will call G phi, sorry, is just the component group of this one. And the and the point is that it is easy to, to check that, in fact, S phi is. No, no, it's what's right. Sorry, I'm just confusing my notation. And why? No, it's, this is not the component group. I was right in the beginning, sorry. This is this group, G is an independent of LG, which can be viewed as an element of G phi. And the group of component. Sorry, it's the group that I call, to be more precise, I should call it I G phi of U phi. So in G phi, I take the, the group which is, so this is G phi in fact. Uh, this, and this is not this, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. So we have G phi and then, I, so we are in G phi, I can consider the centralizer of in G phi of u phi. So g phi maybe is possibly disconnected. And uh, if you take a unipotent element in it, it is can be even more disconnected. And so you take this group. And the point is that this group is isomorphic. So it's a consequence of jacobson morozov theorem. Yeah. And again, all these are finite. And all are fine, of course, finite groups. So, so the idea to look at this group G phi and that group A I phi is due to my student Ahmed Moussaoui, and uh, so it was uh, 
part of his, uh, his thesis. And the point is that now you are of a complex reductive group uh, G5, uh, uh, possibly disconnected, and the unipotent element in it, and you are looking at irreducible and rho, which was an irreducible representation of S5. You can view it as an irreducible representation of, of that group. So you have a um, complex Lie group, maybe disconnected, unipotent element in it, and a representation of that. And when you see this, you think of Springer correspondence. Or more precisely, its generalized version uh, due to Lustig. But Rho is an irreducible representation of this finite group. Yeah, it, uh, by, by the construction, it was a irreducible representation of S phi. But when you view S phi as this group, it's you can view it as a representation of that. And so now you can say that you can define a notion of cuspidality. This is cuspidal if, um, of course, we want that phi is discrete. So its, it's image is not contained in, in a proper Levy subgroup of, uh, of the L group. And also a condition on rho. And the condition on rho is just that this, with uh, the above notation, is a cuspidal pair in this group G5. So I will not have time to uh, explain uh, uh, what it means. So this notion is due to Lustig. Uh, in the case when uh, this group is connected. <coughs> so it is in his paper in, in, on the uh, in invention S, uh, uh, I think, yeah. Uh, his paper about intersection cohomology complexes, complexes. It, it is a paper in which he defined generalized Springer correspondence. And uh, in fact, it is possible to, to, <coughs> to look to to view the representation rho as some uh, irreducible local system, and there is a notion of cuspidality for local system, which uh, involves to look at some uh, perverse shifts on uh, the um, unipotent variety of, uh, of the group G phi, and uh, and uh, on this notion of perverse shift, you have a induction, <coughs> parabolic induction, and Jacquet restriction. Uh, which are just, uh, I mean, of course, it's different way of defining them, but uh, cuspidality is the same definition as you know. Uh, the, the, the object, which are uh, Jacquet restriction, uh, when you apply the Jacquet restriction factor, it is equal to zero uh, if a levy is a proper levy of a group. So in something similar, which that Lustig has done on the in this setting. And uh, this also has a nice uh, property that it also works for um, L modular representation. And this is due to uh, uh, Ramoda, to Achar, Anderson, Gito, and uh, Rich. OK, anyway, you have cuspidal pairs. But since I will not give you the definition, I decided to give you at least two examples. So first example is example. Yes, for this group, so uh, that you al al already s saw in uh, Vincent Secher talk. So, uh, same notation. This is a uh, divisional D is a divisional algebra. So, object that you already were familiar with, thanks to the Godmont Jacquet book. Uh, so, it's a divisional algebra. So, the dimension of uh, with center F. And so the dimension of d over f is a square. And the condition, and we, m, we, I will call n md. So g, all we, if I impose this condition, all this group are inner form of gln over f. And for later use, I will define the, so this group are uh, um, not, quasi not, not split and even more, not, non, non, they are all non quasi non quasi 
split, except in the case where d is 1, and in that case, we have the quasi-split form, which is GLN, which in fact is split. And, sorry, this is the example. Now, um, um, the dual of GLN is, of G maybe I should first give you this. Yes, which is, uh, well, known that the the all the inner forms are the same uh, uh, long lens group, which is the long lens groups of the inner, uh, we can, which it's given by the, of a scasi split group in, in, the in the inner, inner form class. Uh, and, uh, of course, it's simply co connected cover is SLN. And uh, the group here, <coughs> if you <coughs> compute it, it's a cyclic group and it's N Z mod ZN. Now, f uh, f uh, your parameter has to be discrete. So it's exa there are examples of cuspidal uh, and as long as parameters. So phi, because it, the phi is discrete, it has to be the it need to be the following form. So here, this is an irreducible representation of the Vey group, and this one is an irreducible representation of the SL2C, and uh, need a, na a name for its dimension. I will call D prime its dimension, and then. We can check that. So it is written in our uh, first pap joint paper, which is now published in a manuscript Amat, which says that this is, sorry, is cuspidal if and only if, uh, we of course, we take this phi. Uh, phi is as, phi as above. And we need a condition uh, about. Um, um, the object, so the left common multiple of d and n mod d prime is equal to n. And of course, if you look, so this is the condition that you get if you just compute cuspidal pairs. And of course, if you look at uh, local long lens correspondent, local long lens correspondent for, 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 for g, so we attach, which is known to be true. We attach to your parameter some representation, phi p, uh, irreducible, irreducible representation of, of your group. And in general, uh, even if, of course, uh, if, even if you take phi, uh, this discrete par long lens parameter, this representation is not, is not always super cuspidal. But pi phi is super cuspidal if and only if, the same condition. So you can find it for, for in in when f is of has zero characteristic in the book uh, by uh, Delin, Kajdan, and, and Vigneras uh, on the Bernstein Center, uh, where you also fi can find the Bernstein Center. So this means in particular that there is a nice compatibility between the cuspidality on the dual side and the cuspidality on the group side in this special case. Uh, a second case that I would like to, uh, to give to you is, uh, so for classical group SP and, and uh, uh, SO, SO odd and even, you can look in the paper by Ahmed, which is now in published in representation theory. So here I will give you another very similar case, which is the case of a unitary group given by a quasi-split. You submit quasi-split, and E is a quadratic extension, of course, of F. The uh, L group is just GLN over C, submit direct product with a Galois group of E. Uh, now, uh, this is, I write it in a slightly nicer way here. So, my group G5, uh, okay. so I, my group G5, what is this for? Uh, what has the following form? It's a product of M sigma, M sigma, and E prime some orthogonal group. So if you take an arbitrary uh, 
long lens, not them, sigma, sigma, uh, and arbitrarily L parameter, you will get a the, the central, the, the group G phi will be a product of such kind of group and at times a product of some group, some G of a GLN type. But because you assume, um, here considering a cuspidal L parameter, so phi has to be discrete, then the, we, the, there is no uh, GL, GL part. And uh, of course, you now we compute the, the group, R G phi of U phi. And this group is. Um, of course, it's a product similar with some similar group in O M sigma C of some. So the unipotent, my unipotent element, I wrote it as a product of unipotent element a sigma corresponding to this decomposition. And of course, the group is a product of group. <coughs> and. Um, SP. And so what I need, and so U is a product of a U sigma, and the condition to get cuspidality. Uh, so in the Lustig paper, uh, in Van Sonnet, you also find that uh, if a pair is cuspidal, the unipotent element needs to be distinguished, which in this case gives you that. So the, the unipotent in. U, so U sigma is a unipotent element in this orthogonal group. So it's, it's, uh, it corresponds to a partition of M sigma, and the partition you, you have in this situation of a cuspidality is the following, of is, it has the following form. And uh, so this is when sigma is in I prime. So I take just I prime, I in fact, we can precise what means this, uh, this, uh, this, in this index, it means that the, the Corresponding parameter as um, is of orthogonal type, or, uh, yeah, or, or, or symplectic type. But I don't want to enter in this here. And here it is the following partition: two for two d sigma. And so the group, all these groups are just uh, z mod to z, uh, z mod yes, z mod to z. And now, So the group, I uh, okay. I forgot about the, the orthogonal symplectic group. This group is a product um, it's a product of Z mod to Z, so it's, it is exactly like this. Yes. So this sigma is the dimension we occurs there with, with in a way, in such a way that uh, U sigma is an element of a corresponding orthogonal or symplectic group. Um, okay, uh, okay I will, my notations are not good, but anyway. Okay, I would like to be to, 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 to f go in too fast. So I need to see per. So um, Z to a minus one. And this is z mod to z. So it's a product of d sigma cop uh, copi copies, copies of, <laughs> copies of uh, z mod to z. And in sp is similar. But I, I would like to have this uh, fancy things. I could have just write it z, z a, but for the reason which appears soon. I would prefer to like to write it like this. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. And this is same thing. Mm, 
but then, and my, uh, I will, this is the point, I will define uh, rho, and rho, uh, sorry, rho is an irreducible representation of a group a g phi of u phi, so it's a product, a tensor product of representation of all, all these groups. And um, so rho is a tensor product of representation that I will call rho sigma for sigma in i prime e cup, i prime prime. And I need to define uh, what are the rho sigma, and so rho sigma is define um, Okay, so now I get it. It's a, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a non-trivial character of a, of a two-element group in each time. Uh, I mean, it's a rho sigma on the element z, z, okay, okay, z i is minus one at some power of i, but uh, okay, at some, at some power, at some, um, okay, it will be i or Okay, uh, it could be written in more proper properly, uh, and if you do this in a more proper way, <laughs> then um, you will see. So you can you can explain more, more precisely what is i or i, I depending if I take two a or two a minus one, and uh, so uh, yeah, and the point is that um, we have the the point is. We, we can choose, the, 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 the we, can, we can compute and we find what, what, what we have to put here. And then you get, this is the point, that epsilon sigma of ZA, ZA minus 2 is always, it's not epsilon, it's rho, uh, is always equal to uh, minus 1. And if you look at this condition and especially this one, uh, these are exactly the conditions which, uh, which are founded by Colette Meuglin in uh, his work about uh, the uh, long loss parameter for unitary groups and the description of a supercuspidal. And uh, so the condition, uh, and you will get that the, the condition you have on the unipotent element and the condition of this character correspond exactly to the fact that the, the, the Jordan set Jod phi which occurs in uh, uh, um, Colette or and, and Marco work, for instance, or in the other uh, paper by Colette Meuglin, this is um, has no all, and uh, this is the condition that for the character uh, rho to be alternated, and so it gives a, um, a, um, a bijection between. Uh, Super be between cuspidal pairs and, and the supercuspidal representation of quasi split unitary groups. And uh, so the conjecture in general is it's just that these two kind of objects correspond by local long length correspondence. And then I will pass quickly to the other things. <laughs> so, conjecture. Sorry. Yes? In your first example, what was the role of S5? Was point out the right? Uh, oh, problem? yes, it's a, it's a very good question. Uh, so, it's uh, because I'm. Uh, Okay, it's 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 hidden in in the picture, but I, I am I am in fact considering at the same time all the inner inner twist of a given group. So one corresponds to the other. Yes, and the other for for the other inner form of a, yeah. It's why it's not really equal to one. Yeah, and uh, in fact yes, we can we can if you want to look to a, a, a given uh, group, a PID group, uh, and not to all its inner twist. You need to take not all the characters in a row uh, belonging to S phi. So first, we need to to only consider the the phi, the L parameter, which are relevant for the, the the given group. 
And there is also a notion of relevance for the, for the, the announcement. And we just take the one which are relevant mm. for G. And uh, so the... Uh, yes, because this is uh, just using uh, Kodwitz. Uh, uh, we, we use uh, the, uh, the Kodwitz isomorphism, and then you know the action of uh, of rho on on uh, some uh, some group which is contained in in, uh, in S phi, and uh, you just take the one which the la and this group. So it's uh, and the action of that group should correspond to the by Kodwitz isomorphism to the to the collect to the this form of inner twist of that of a group. I mean, this is, is, is okay, but it's just not have time just to, to really go into it. But just say, yeah, just to answer to your question. Um, so we have two groups. We have this group. So it ju it just to, to answer to uh, that specific question. So this group is just the group which occur if you look at the group which is uh, assumed to be quasi-split. Then we have this group, so it's the center of a group, and you consider the con connected component of that group. And then we have uh, a central ex and then S phi is a central extension of some group of um, that group by S by some group Z. Uh, so we have this exact short exact sequence. L5 and 1, and um, where this group is just uh, the centralizer in this, of the, the center, sorry, of that group mod its intersection with the connected component of of the central of the image of phi. Uh, and then when you have this, you, you, you look at the restriction of your irreducible character rho of S phi to that group. And from that group, using Gottwitz uh, isomorphism, you can understand which uh, you can get a character. And then, I mean, there is something to do, but it's. Uh, it's and that's the same R phi. And this is the same R phi, this one, yeah. Uh, so if your group is quasi split, this is enough to, to consider. But if your group is not, you need to consider this. Okay, and then, okay, I will just erase this. And the conjecture is thus, there is a bijection between what I will call phi of Lg, which is, uh, this will be um, G conjugacy classes of um, enhance L parameter. Uh, and here I will add cusp to mean that I will only consider the cuspidal one and the um, union of irreducible irreducible cuspidal representation of G alpha for all the, uh, such that in such that uh, G alpha is for all the inner let's see that for all G alpha is an inner twist of G. And if you take here, of course, uh, in, in here, if you could take the one which are uh, G, G relevant for some G, then this one should correspond to here because of the same of a corresponding G. For if you consider the, 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 the element here, which are G relevant for a given G, they should be, in, they, we conjecture that they are in bijection with a supercuspidal irreducible representation of G. So as I told you, this conjecture is, is true for quasi-split unitary group, of course, for GLN, for SLN over uh, division algebra, for classical, uh, split classical groups, and in that case, is due to, uh, to Ahmed. And uh, it's, uh, 
also true also true for uh, representation with unipotent reduction of uh, any uh, PID group uh, which is a uh, split which became split which becomes split um, on a an unramified represent an unramified extension of <coughs> F and this is a recent paper on the archive by um, a student of, uh, of Eric Obdam Obdam and Martin Solivelt and of course when when G is simple of adjoint type type, simple adjoint type, this, this follow from Lustig classification of um, representation with unipotent prediction of, of such kind of group. So, uh, uh, how, uh, how did you don't believe it? So I, I guess my time is finished, what you say, yeah? yeah. So I would just um, uh, just two, two minutes. <laughs> so this is the conjecture, then from, uh, from that what we can do is we, we've, okay, we write on this, easier. So then if you take all the, uh, say for 1G, the, the set of enhanced long loss parameters. First, it is inside theorem. So, Musawi Solevel, it's a some say GS. So, we, we, we of course, we have uh, this notion of cuspidality. Now we can take as a uh, Cuspidal pair, so Levy and phi, psi. Well, this one is a, a cuspidal, is an, un, uh, my notation, okay, it's okay. Is an uh, unhanced long loss parameter for L, and the, the relation is se similar as in Bernstein, so we have an action of uh, some object which reflect the, which correspond by local long loss correspondence. Uh, for torus 2 of the unramified character and uh, we can similarly to, ben to Bensin define this kind of inertial relation on this object. So this is the first thing. So it's kind of avatar of a Bernstein decomposition but only at the level of irreducible object. Um, and uh, the second thing is that this yes in bijection with a simple module, modules of a twisted, because I do not have time to explain in which, in which way it's, it, is, it is twisted, a fine equivalent of um, So say H, G, S. I would just say that the root system so uh, when you have an affine, an affine algebra, there is some uh, root system attached to a fine that group. So it is corresponding to um, the root system of um, some group, some finite group. And uh, okay, I will not have time to explain what it is. Um, and uh, so we have this, and the last word would say that. Of course, this decomposition is not, the, it's, the an, it's the just the, the, the analog on the dual side of a Bernstein decomposition. But now, if you consider not, so as, as I said in the beginning, an L packet is not an union of Bernstein component, and a Bernstein component is not an union of, of L packet. But uh, from this, it's very easy by considering the stable Bernstein center to consider an, an union of L packet, which in this uh, terminal, in this uh, setting here, it means to consider some union of um, uh, 
of, of, of this uh, subset, and so it's, there is a well-defined union of that subset, uh, and so we can have we can have a, a coarse decomposition of this as some let's just say i phi e g i, where this one are union of this object, and and this and so this give a way to 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 put I mean to to link. The, this kind of decomposition with and with a decomposition not in L packet but in union of L packet and this union of L packet is the one which occurs in, in uh, the, band, the stable dancing center. So I will stop here. Is there any remark or question? Yes. I uh, have two questions. One is just about the notation. Previously, phi was the input of phi was the dual group of the complex numbers LG. Yes. And now you write G, and, and the index is about G check. Is that? Ah, you are right. Yeah, you are you are perfectly right. It's not this. It's uh, it's LL. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's not, it's, 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 it's LL. <laughs> LL is L for this middle, is this for this middle. Yeah. Yeah. And you said you have two questions? Uh, yeah, the other question is is, is, is there a natural topology on this? Thing? So I have no idea. Yeah. I would be very happy <laughs> to have any in insight on, on, on these kind of things. Yeah. At the moment, it's just set. Uh, it's just a set of, uh, yeah. So it's why it's not as nice as a bent in decomposition, because it's uh, not, the decomposition of, it's just the at, the at the moment just irreducible object. Uh, it's, yeah. But I, I guess that there should be something, but uh, it's, it's unclear to me, completely unclear. Uh, yeah, this, uh, I want to run corresponding with the modules of the heck but that's a, uh, a bijection. Is there more than one way to normalize the bijection? Or is it um, okay, so. This is very so first the, the, the bijection, first, the definition of a bijection is very complicated, and it's completely based on the Lustig construction using first graded affine equal algebra. So we pass through that, uh, and uh, also the, the 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 equal algebra we get depends on uh, some in indeterminate, mm -hmm. and at the moment uh, there are. I mean, there are too much freedom on the indeterminate. I mean, we can choose several kind of, we can take just one indeterminate, but if you do that, this is would not be the right algebra because in the PID case, we can have different ends. So, uh, so, but in, so at the moment, so it's not, I mean, the definition is, is, uh, is too, uh, has too, too freedom in it, but when you specialize to, for instance, for classical groups, uh, we can, for Quasi split symplectic and orthogonal group. We can we we have checked using the the, the work of uh, Volker Hayerman and also the work of uh, Colin Muglin and uh, Arthur. But they correspond to the co to the. It's it, there is a, uh, a canonical choice of a part of a, the indeterminate mm -hmm. in order to get an algebra which is the right one. But I think there is something to do still, like uh, I mean to input like L functions of uh, or something like that in, in the picture which I to make it more, more canonical, yeah. So in this, in this correspondence, so, uh, there is no multiplicity for in a, in a, in a form which appear, they all appear with uh, only ones? Uh, no, uh, the inner twist appear. So it means that sometimes we have two inner forms which are which correspond to different inner twists. So this, this is... In okay, two, two inner forms can, can appear. Can appear, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, so thanks again.